Well, look at what the owners have placed outside of their store. They want to let customers know if they come into the cafe, they will not see masks or any social distancing. Brittany Miller visited the bakery on Broad Street in Sugar Hill and explains why experts are calling that sign upsetting. This sign behind me is posted in front of Sugar Hill Bakery and Cafe, and as you can see, the message is very clear. I just wanted people to know that when they enter that um, we're not going to be wearing them. It's why Nancy Wren says she wrote this sign, and it's why Magda Lavelle says she started working at the Sugar Hill Bakery. I love the freedom to not have to wear a mask. We ask the people to take the mask off at the door for a reason. I don't want someone that's touched their mask all day touching my food. If you take a look at Governor Brian Kemp's latest executive order, it says restaurants and dining services shall require workers to wear face coverings while interacting with patrons and increase physical space between workers and patrons. I'm standing on what I believe. So the White House, the governor, the city, I'm still going to stand on what I believe. Social distancing is the only method we have at this time to prevent the spread of the virus. Dr. Ben Lefkove calls this sign upsetting. It's part of the CDC guidelines that people should be masked when they're around each other indoors. And the fact that this cafe is prohibiting that and flaunting social distancing practices is going to contribute to spread of the virus among the people who work there and among the, the patrons who come into the restaurant. Brittany Miller. I would rather risk my life and live my life. CBS 46 News.